Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Swifty. Huge thanks to Swifty and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Swifty reached out asking for a deck led by Athreos, God of Passage, and I was more than happy to help. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Athreos, God of Passage, is a 3-mana 5-4 legendary enchantment god with indestructible. As long as our devotion to white and black is less than 7, Athreos isn't a creature. Additionally, whenever another creature we own dies, we return it to our hand unless target opponent pays 3 life. There are a lot of ways to build Athreos, but I suggested going for an aristocrat strategy with some backup reanimation effects, and Swifty loved the idea. Now, an aristocrat's deck is different from a sacrifice deck in that aristocrats are the payoffs for sacrificing other creatures, while a sacrifice deck just sacrifices permanence for value. In other words, a sacrifice deck is a value deck that relies on our own permanence dying, while an aristocrat's deck is a grindy mid-range deck that wins the game through sacrificing creatures. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard is made famous by their boulders solid, reliable, and affordable deck boxes. Boulders are now available in solid colors, like this beautiful red one seen here. Find out if your local game store carries the new Ultimate Guard solid color boulders, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. You need three pieces in order to build an Aristocrats deck. Creatures to sacrifice, sacrifice outlets, and payoffs for sacrificing them. And since Athreos is our commander, I wanted to focus on non-token permanents that we can sacrifice, rather than generating a ton of token creatures. Now, in order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and one sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. I've been invited to MagicCon Chicago. Let me know in the comments below if you're coming. I'll have more info soon. Barring an emergency, I will be in attendance and hope to spend all three days playing Commander with as many people as possible. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Verdant Catacombs, Godless Shrine, Vault of Champions, Shattered Sanctum, Isolated Chapel, Snowfield Sinkhole, Sunlit Marsh, Tainted Field, Caves of Koilos, Bright Climb Pathway, Orzhov Basilica, Bajuka Bog, Eleven Plains, and 10 swamps make up the land base for our deck. Greedy Freebooter, Ashnod's Altar, Pitiless Plunderer, Burnished Heart, Solemn Simulacrum, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Hierarchy, Orzhov Signet, Marble Diamond, Charcoal Diamond, Mind Stone, and Felwar Stone help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Market Gnome, Grim Harospex, Midnight Reaper, Skull Clamp, Sun Titan, Luminous Brood Moth, Scornblade Berserker, Flesh Taker, Arya, First of Lockthwain, Laisa, Forgotten Archangel, and Revelark help us to dig through our deck and recast our creatures. Plague Crafter, Braid's Arisen Nightmare, Swords to Plowshares, Mortify, Disenchant, Cathar Commando, Fleshbag Marauder, Priest of Forgotten Gods, Shriek Maw, Demon's Disciple, Fracture, and Generous Gift help us to keep our opponents in line. 
Toxic Deluge, The Meat Hook Massacre, Farewell, and Dam help us to reset the board as needed. Sir Conrad the Grim, Zulaport Cutthroat, Blood Artist, Bastion of Remembrance, Falconrath Noble, Vindictive Vampire, Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose, Cruel Celebrant, Ellis Ilcor, Sadistic Pilgrim, Corpse Knight, and Agent of the Iron Throne all help us to drain our opponents and make up the primary win condition of this deck. Our sacrifice outlets consist of Visira Seer, Carrion Feeder, Woe Strider, and Bartolome del Presidio. Finally, Bloodletter of Alcazots, Tesa Karloff, Drivnod Carnage Dominus, Grey Merchant of Asphodel, Alenda the Dusk Rose, Shieldred Whispering One, and Sanguine Bond help us to close out games, mostly by doubling our triggers or increasing the amount of life we drain from our opponents. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, right on target. 11 pieces of card advantage, 12 pieces of interaction, 4 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Bajukabog and Farewell, 1 sudden I win card in Grey Merchant of Asphodel. And since we've got a ton of reanimation effects in our deck, we can cast Gary over and over again. But that's only one way to win. The Meat Hook Massacre can also end games, depending on the board state. But our primary win condition is having a bunch of aristocrat effects on board and sacrificing creatures for value over and over again. And since a lot of our creatures have good end of the battlefield or death triggers, this should allow us to maintain control of the game. Exactly what we're wanting. Do you have an Athreos God of Passage deck? What about an Aristocrats deck? What's your secret deck deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash For only $25, you too can have a commander video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jiraiya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgy, Exiled Rogue, Noswin, Hector, Pedro, Tom, Echo Fox, Midge, Swifty, Lucius, Detroff, Rally, and Elf. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Dana.